Hey guys, what's up, Green Machine Sam? Back with another video, and today we have another Tennessee Titans franchise video. So today we are taking on the Baltimore Ravens in the wild card. Now, of course, this is our first playoff appearance in season one. Of course, this is season one. Of course, I still have not decided whether or not I'm going to reset the franchise to get the draft class bugs kicked out and to just start a new franchise. Give us 11 wins, take our six losses, and whatever happens in the playoffs. And of course, send to the offseason and then get the party started. I have not decided yet. So let's get things underway. I went ahead and did practice. I am going to tell you guys nobody got depth trait. Of course, nobody got depth trait in season one. Then, as well with practice being out of the way, I am focusing on running the football this week. I am going to stick to my guns. Of course, that is something I want to do. When we throw the ball, we give a lot of, give a lot of, a lot of balls away. We have 26 giveaways. We are ranked 31st in that category. And we are a bottom five team on third down. Going against this Baltimore Ravens team that's very, very well-rounded. We will have a hell of a time playing them. We do have one upgrade to take care of. Of course, that is Tajay Spears, our superstar running back in the making. Of course, he is a superstar. And he's slowly becoming a superstar of the league. He does have an ability to slot now, which I will probably go ahead and activate going into this game. And the biggest storyline is the, these last couple of weeks, we've struggled with turnovers. You know, we could have had the number one seed in our division. and Well, possibly. Uh, probably not. The Colts won out, so it probably would have not changed that much. But still, we could have had the possibility of having the number one seed if Will Levis just stopped throwing picks. I mean, that's one of the big things going into this week. Nothing has changed along the depth chart or any of that situation as nobody has been injured over the last couple weeks, at least anything major, or where they haven't been able to bounce back from a week of rest or so. We did not have a single player in any of the top categories, of course, besides Caleb Farley with 13 picks. Holy shit, I didn't even realize he had that many. That is fucking insane. We do need to get somebody next year to put pressure on the other quarterbacks. Rushing, we should be fine going into next year. Passing, hopefully, we'll be fine as well. We'll take a look at stats, awards, all that fun stuff in the off-season video, whenever that will come, whether it's the next video that comes out after this, or if we get another game, if we get another chance to continue our, uh, our path. But with that being said, guys, let's hop into the game, and I will see you guys there. Lamar Jackson and this Baltimore offense will come out onto the field. They're going to be wearing their all-blacks. I'm going to be wearing my all white. 3,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, 8 picks for Lamar. I know he did throw a pick against us back in London. Will playing in America be any different for Lamar and this offense? You know, that, that'll be a big question mark. We did beat them in the regular season, but now this is the playoffs. We will have to ramp things up. J.K. Dobbins getting started right away, getting a 10-yard rush there, bouncing off a couple arm tackles from both Shair and from Monty Rice. Of course, we might be losing Monty Rice if we do decide to restart the franchise, as well as a couple of other guys like Tier Tart and possibly even Kevin Byard if we do decide to go that direction. We will end up bringing down Jacob Dobbins after a two-yard rush there. Two rushes, 12 yards. He's already off to a fast start here. You know, we're going to... And the problem with our defense right now is we just don't have a whole ton of speed on the field, just in general. Nobody's particularly fast besides Caleb Farley, so if Lamar gets out and runs. He's going to be pretty much hard. He's going to be very hard to bring down. J.K. Dom's there for another 15-yard rush, I think it was. So he'll have three for 27. Yeah, he's... This this rush attack is going to be ex insanely annoying to face up off against it all day. And bring in a motion, and it's a pitch to the receiver. Flowers, if he would have just went outside, there's nobody there. He would have been gone. I'm, I'm telling you, if this... If the AI in this game could just become a little better about where to run, if he takes that outside and just uses his speed to try to get to the sideline and get up the field, he's easily gone for a 40-yard rush at minimum, well, 40-yard pass completion at minimum. Lamar goes power here, third, third and one now after six-yard Lamar Jackson run. And the big question as well is, you know, especially in real life with Lamar choking in the AFC Championship, I don't know if choking is even the correct word, just not performing as well as he probably should have, you know, does that affect his standing in real in the game as well? Shire finally bringing J.K. Dobbins down after a, they're just going to run the living shit out of us. We're going to have to spread our linebackers a little bit. And there's another handoff to J.K. Dobbins. He is feasting right now. Jesus. 
Five for 41. Are we going to have to put five guys on that this defensive line and just match up with their, you know, offensive line? We might. That might be a problem that we run into. Odell underneath, not really getting involved in the AFC Championship game, but here he is getting involved early. Tyler Linderbaum, their superstar center, young guy out of Iowa, if I remember correctly. Um, I know he's young. I just don't remember if he was from Iowa. I, I'm like 90% sure it's from Iowa. Sam Mustafer, former Chicago Bear in the game. He actually played well for the Ravens, if I remember correctly, for a couple games that either Linderbaum missed or he played at guard or Linderbaum played at guard and he moved into center. I don't remember remember what the case was for that, but I do remember Ravens fans being like, you guys hated this dude? He's playing pretty well for us. And even Bears fans being like, why couldn't he play this well for us? Third and three now here after a Lamar uh, completion underneath to Odell. He's gonna it seems like he's going to be running a lot of those drag routes. We're going to bring Hooker down in the box immediately. We're going to match up on him, put him in the box, and Tier Tart right there makes a big play. He... We bend, but do not break. There we go. Fourth and five now. They're going to have to settle for three. Will Levis will come out onto the field to start his first playoff drive. His first playoff appearance. Yeah, 2,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, 15 picks. You know, going into the last couple games, I'm pretty sure he had like a four touchdown to two interception ratio. So, just not, not, not good right now. Not good at all. He has struggled. And it's mainly been been me. I'm gonna admit that, but you know he has struggled as well. He has missed some pretty bad balls. Spears to the outside trap play. Get back outside, and he will be brought down by Marcus Williams and Kyle Hamilton there. First and ten at the 46. They can run the ball. We can run the ball too. This these were two of the top rushing units in the entire league this year in terms of in uh, of course the franchise. I'm not gonna say. They were in real life. Spears underneath. I'm going to look underneath a lot to Spears. Get the ball in his hands. You know, if he gets injured, so be it. But we're going to try to do it our way. We're not going to settle for these passes that keep getting picked off from us. Second and four now. Hand off Spears. Get to the outside. Get the edge. Marlon Humphrey and Kyle Hamilton there. First and ten. We're going to go 94 will here. Hand off. And Roquan just comes right through, takes us down, three-yard loss there. Yeah, Roquan is somebody I, I forget about on this defense a lot. I don't really want to recognize him. Staying in 13, we got to throw the ball here. I don't think we can really afford to continue to run at the current moment as if they're going to tee off on those runs immediately. Spears on this quick out could be interesting, but with that corner sitting there, I feel like he's going to jump it. I think this might turn out to be man. No, it's his own. And a scramble. Will Levis, one on one with a defender, makes a miss just enough. Picks up the first, first and ten now. Eight yard rush with Will Levis. I saw that edge, kind of move towards the inside. We were we were able to get to the edge. Brandon Stevens just not being able to bring us down quick enough. First and 10 going back to the air here. Chig underneath. Catch, run. One on one with Kyle Hampton. He does not win that, but he does pick up nine. Second and one now. I do want to go with some play action here a lot today. Get some rollouts as well. Force just the Ravens into tight situations more than anything. Scramble out. Josh Wiley underneath. I don't know what the fuck whoever was next to him was doing. He ran away from him. So I don't know if it was man covered and he got confused or what. Travis Jones now down. I think he actually went down in the game as well this past Sunday. 33 seconds remaining on the play clock. Hand off Spears. Trying to find a hole. I was trying to like wiggle back and forth and trying to get Roquan just like locked up on a lineman. When he finally did, somebody else was there to bring me down. Hassan Haskins, though, going to get a chance here. To punch it in. The power back. He played well against Miami, and he's in. Roquan and Patrick Queen tried to come up the middle, thinking that it was going to be a half halfback dive instead of its power O to the left and just walk in touchdown. First and 10, the Baltimore Ravens are going to take over at their own 18. A good coverage unit there. 
on that kickoff. 34 seconds remaining in this first quarter. Handoff Dobbins. He cuts back, finds a hole, picks up eight. Don't know why he tried to stutter step so early against those safeties. He but he does. Second and two now. Pretty sure this will probably take us to the end of the quarter. They might snap the ball beforehand. Yeah. Yep, they do. And Lamar keeps it. No gain there. Third and two now. End of the quarter. 7-3, though. It's a good standing. You know, we drove down the field pretty easily, to say the least. I think we're in for a pretty decent game today. Third and two. Lamar auto-fixing stuff as he feels. If we can get a stop here, it'll send a lot of momentum our way. Drop off to Mark Andrews, and he's tackled by Shair, short of the yardage to gain fourth and one. I could easily see them going for this. Uh, I don't know how much they trust Stoutman. I know when they had their old punter, I think they threw it a couple times. We're going to go into punt safe here. A.J. Moore, we're going to take back to try to get at least one blocker back there for Stevenson. He's not immediately just clobbered. Getting up to the 38-yard line, Tennessee Titans will have control of the football here for their second drive here starting off in the second quarter first and 10 gonna go weak side here Roquan's playing really heavy and so is Javadian and Clowney there we're gonna go weak side against Patrick Queen see if our line can win and just Dillard got pushed so far in the backfield that I couldn't stretch it so I tried to bounce inside but it put me in a stupid animation and then the guy on Robert Haynes he sheds immediately it's man one of these curls should be open if it's zone Look, Spears or a Quanquo underneath. Man, Hopkins, one on one with Rocky Sin Jesus. How many teams has he been on? He's been on what, like Raiders, Colts, and now uh, Ravens. It's a lot of teams in a very short time. I don't. I wouldn't call him a bust, but definitely a lot of teams. I know he got traded for you know decent chunk each time. First and ten, halfback stretch Spears. The tight ends get out onto these linebackers, Hamilton and Roquan Smith, up to the 40-yard line. Spears going really nicely here today. Like I said, run the football is going to be our main option here in this offense. Halfback draw here. Get up to the second level. They just don't have enough people in this box to really slow us down currently. Seven yards a carry right now. I know J.K. Dobbins, I think, is averaging maybe a little bit more than us in terms of per touch, but... I'm definitely feeling this offense come to life. And bring Phillips to the other side, motion him, have him go to the flats, see if we can confuse some of these players. It's zone, hit a Quanquo back over the middle. Roquan leaves. I don't know if he had, if maybe it was a man to man plus zone, you know, zone, but then maybe Roquan was passed with dealing with Spears. He just like vacated the center of the field. I don't know what that was all about. If it wasn't Humphrey over there on that right side, I would say look Burks immediately if this is zone. But since it is Humphrey, I don't really want to test my luck. We're going to throw it up to Hopkins. He goes up and gets it. Almost gets knocked out, but he does come down with the football. What a risky throw. I thought Humphrey would have came off his guy a little sooner. But virtually, I knew Hopkins was going to get his hands on that football. which is a matter of, does he get it knocked out? First and 10 here at the 41-yard line. Hand off J.K. Dobbins up the middle one-yard rush there. Seven for 50. So, yeah, he had just a little bit little bit better yards per carry than us. Second and nine now. Monty Rice with the tackle. We come up and play press. I don't, these receivers just aren't causing a big threat to us right now. Amani Hooker just needs to play that football better. I, I know he's not a great man-to-man -man safety, but, man, you got to play that fucking better. You cannot just let him catch that. In your face. I'm guessing run left. If I get screwed over here, that's fine. But And he cuts back. Gus Edwards. Gus Bus. Barely able to cut back. Find the hole. Takes up the first. I guess we just overcommitted there. I'm expecting a read option like always. So see what they decide to go with here. First and ten. Read option right. No, it's just straight power. Well, straight zone. J.K. Dobbins is just fucking us in the mouth right now. Which is always lovely, to say the least. It's insane how great he's playing right now. First and ten. 
Now it's a read option. Lamar, I don't think he saw Molden. I think that's why he kept the football. Second and 10, Molden hops inside, able to make a good play, but if the AI just played a, played that a little bit better, that's an easy, easy first down there. Buyer there, and that will bring up third and 11, forcing the ball into Lamar Jackson's throwing hand. And again, our pass unit hasn't been great either this year. Our defense, just in general, has not been great. Ranked one of the worst defenses in the league. Just our rush unit and our scoring opportunities really came up clutch. Harold Landry there with a sack. It won't include increase his sack total for the year, but it will give us another good stop. They're going to have to settle for three here again. We'll be taking over at our own 25-yard line again. DeAndre Hopkins, two targets, two receptions. 32 yards there. Both coming on that last drive. Two pivotal catches. First and 10. Halfback stretch again. I don't really see anything developing quite nicely. Brought down after a one yard rush. I will tell you, they will. If I was them, I would go, you know, we've seen Will Levis can't throw the football without turning it over. Let's just go ahead and stop this run unit. Second and nine. Play action fake. Rolling out. D hop. Catch, run out of bounds up to the 41. Simple passes like that as well. I know we're moving on the run, so there's always the chance that might be off target. But there comes the two-minute warning. I don't know how the clock is ticking. I went out of bounds moving up the field. Whatever, though. I Maybe that rule doesn't apply outside of two minutes, but that's kind of fucking stupid. First and ten here. Going to go five wide here. The hop underneath could be an easy option. Nope, it's Chig over the middle, down the field, makes one man miss, tries to make Kyle Hamilton miss. Marcus Williams, just a bad angle there. Nine for nine, 135 so far on the day for Will Levis, playing it smart here today. Three catches, 64 yards for Chig. One-on-one -on -one here with Roquan. If he beats him inside early and if the safety doesn't rotate towards the middle, he could be open. Uh, man as well, could look Hopkins, if anything. No, it's zone. That kind of throws everything out the window. Run for Will Levis. Going down inside the five-yard line. Down at the three athletic motherfuckers out here today. You know, spacing switch. This could be a quick hitter from Hopkins, but with how far that corner is playing out. Going to go zone inside split. With Wiley being in on some of these extra formations here, we should be able to get a little bit better blocking here on Clowney. Hand off Spears. One-on-one -on -one with Patrick Queen, and Queen at least wins it at the goal line. Two-yard rush there for Spears. Patrick Queen with his second tackle on the day. You know, halfback power G here. Get it to the outside. Get away from Roquan. Let these O-linemen do what they need to do. Haskins back inside. In to the end zone. Runs over Roquan and Kyle Hamilton. He has to bounce back inside. Find a gap. And he just runs over Roquan and Kyle Hamilton into the end zone for six. His second rushing touchdown on the day. Now, his yards per carry is probably pretty dog shit. It's probably at one. But a second rushing touchdown for him on the day. 21-6 here late in the second. First and 10 here for the Ravens. Full momentum swing in our direction here. Can kind of lock up some of these routes. Monty Hooker, though. Getting burnt by Isaiah Likely, who has developed into a very nice pass catcher for the Ravens in real life. I've always liked him. I thought he was going to be good coming out of, uh, what was it, Coastal Carolina. Isn't that the team? Only reason why I know about them is because of NCAA 14 revamp. They're going to run some curl routes and stuff. I'm going to have everybody sit underneath. Press their, their man off the line. Right there, Monty Rice can't bring Mark Andrews down. Mark Andrews for a big gain. Makes Elijah Molden miss. Lamar not really missing a whole ton of opportunities. Just we've been able to come up and make some pretty decent tackles. So Monty Rice missing that one is kind of suspect. He's played well all season as well. So it's kind of just unfortunate that that had to happen there. Monty Rice, one of those guys that has definitely played above his overall. Elijah Molden just getting burnt. I really don't know where we're going to fit Elijah Molden into this defense next year. I really don't. He struggled against, you know, slower receivers. He struggled against tight ends. He struggled against everybody. 
Caleb Farley there with a the knockaway. Nine for 11 for Amar. That was just a, it was a good ball. Don't get me wrong. It's just Caleb Farley just able to react quicker right there. Able to come up with a good play. Garden OBJ underneath and just Mark Andrews run, runs a corner. Kevin Byard and Monty Rice just can't team up there. Makes a touchdown for the Ravens. They score. End of the half. Six seconds left. I don't think there's going to be a whole ton that we can do. Maybe let Marquez Stevenson return. But if nothing else happens, I probably this will probably be halftime for me. So, probably see you guys in the next half. Yeah, going into half, up on the bar, Baltimore Ravens. I'm surprised they didn't go for two. At least my theory has always been you go for the two points early. If you are down and you need to go for two points sometime, get the two points early and move on. And then figure out, because if you don't get it, then you can always figure out, like, what do we need going forward? What do we need to do going forward? Instead of being like, oh, now we're tied with them, going to be tied with them if we get this two-point convert. I don't know. I've always thought go for it early instead of later. Okay, so the offense will come back out onto the field. Will Levis, perfect so far on the day, or at least he was for the most part. First and 10 at our own 25. Good return here by Marquez Stevenson. Grant, we would have gotten the ball here anyway. They bring pressure. I just don't see anybody. And whoever was playing that left side, Jesus, is that Tavon Young? Or, yeah, he was injured for so long. He's bounced around so many teams. He was on the Bears at one point. Whoever was playing that left side zone, cutting off both of those opportunities, played it so well. He played just deep enough to take away the deep route, played it just short enough to not really give me a chance to throw it short and think that anything would come of it. Second and 24 now, going back to the air. Chig is kind of open on the sideline. Toe tap. 163 yards for Will Levis. Yeah, perfect. 10 for 10. Chig, 4 for 92. That's something else we kind of got away from throughout the season was getting it to Chig, getting it to D-Hop, making those guys be our focal points in the air, in the air as well. I just... I felt like if I threw it to Burks there, I thought Humphrey would hop, jump up and pick it. And if I threw it to Chig, he could react quick enough and maybe make a play on the ball as well. I just didn't want to take that chance. If I'm going to throw an incompletion, I may as well just throw it into the stands. Second and 10. Of course, lining up his man. Put Spears out there. Nope. Can't take him out. Okay. Whatever. This will do. If it's man, I'm looking Hopkins. Nope. Phillips underneath. And just. Out of reach. Uh, pressure on him. I uh, kind of understand that one. But, you know, he's throwing at the pressure. He should be able to see it. Make, it, make make a decent throw. I think give your guy a chance there. Burks underneath is my first option. Looking back towards Phillips, Spears, Hopkins. It's man-to-man. -man. Hopkins one-on-one -on -one and just gets hit as he throws. The three straight incompletions will end our drive. We didn't really run the ball all that much. We got to get back to that, of course. Out at the 21-yard line, J.K. Dobbins. Eight for 64. Eight yards of carry. I could have punted the ball a little bit better, but I was trying to be safe more than anything. I don't love the look that we're in right now, especially against how well they've ran this football. I'm expecting a read option to the right side. Yep. Luckily, Joseph Asai makes an incredible play there on the right tackle. Kind of forces him into, into the backfield late. And J.K. Dobbins, nowhere to run there. Good play from... From Joseph Asai has been another guy that's played well above his overall. And that's something that we've talked about a lot, you know, and I know I keep repeating myself in that category is players playing above their overall, playing well, getting more shots with this defense. And I know they're going to bite me sometimes in the ass, but guys like Josh Thompson, guys like Monty Rice, Joseph Asai, Buddy Johnson has even played pretty well for his overall, you know, because it's not always like that. Look at Elijah Molden. He's a very low overall. He's a 72, 71, something like that. And he plays like absolute dog ass, you know? So it, it I'm going to continue to harp on that a lot. It's just, you know, if you play well, you're going to get more shots on this team. The more, the better you play, you're going to get more shots. It, it's not always about overall. It's not always about who I think is going to be the best player, but who's going to make the most plays as well. Now, that's not the only opportunity, right? If you're a shutdown corner, of course, you're not going to get a whole ton of plays made, but you will at least do your job. So, Roger McCreary, that, that's just unfortunate. Whole shot there right behind the corner. He's trying to play that underneath route, underneath, you know, that out route. Odell slips past him. Safety doesn't rotate hard enough, and Lamar hits that whole shot there. So, first and 10 
at our 17. I need this defense line to come up right here, right now. That wheel route. And Caleb Farley goes up, makes the tackle down at the two-yard line now. Zay Flowers, 14 for 16. Jesus, this Ravens team is coming, and they are coming very, very fast right now. Throwing the football, and I, I, for some reason I thought maybe Caleb Farley would get there. Oh, they're going for two now. Okay, here we go. This is what it's all about, two-point conversion. We can come up clutch here. We're still up. They throw a pitch, and Mario Edwards, the third defensive tackle on this team, comes up big with the tackle. Of course, that's unfortunate for them. They don't know that pitch plays are broken in this game. So, Marquis Stevenson back to return. Cut it back towards the middle a little bit and just barely tackled down. If we could have got through that little bit of a hole, could have been gone. Will Levis, not a great last drive. Going to go back to this run game. Trust Josh Wiley here over on this left side. Marcus Williams just gets to the outside so quickly that I had to try to bounce back in, pick up something. Not quite anything there. What we're going to do is we're going to run to to the tight end side, but we're going to motion Phillips back across the field, get that corner off that side, and just nothing going. The... This Ravens defense has shut us down so far. And we have to go to the air here, try something. Going to go with a slip screen. Hopefully these D-tackles don't come too hard right away. Third and 13. Dump off Spears. Gets one big block. Gets a second. Spears. Hurry up back to the line. Fourth and inches. We're going for it. We're going for it right now, right here. Let's go. Fourth and inches. They're coming hard. Spears. Can't get there. No, he, he did. He got there. Let's fucking go. I thought he didn't get there. Trent Simpson. Man, and that's that's tough to hear because Trent Simpson uh, in my Broncos franchise has developed into a really nice linebacker for me. First and 10. Going to go to the air here underneath Burks. That's almost picked. Jesus, I need to stop doing that. I need to stop fucking doing that. Stop doing it. Going to go halfback slam here. Run this football. Going to motion Hopkins, just see if this defense will move just enough. Not really, just puts Marlon Humphrey in a uh, stand-up position. Spears up the middle for six there, 13 for 55. Third and four. I'm comfortable going for it here in this part of the field. Uh, a lot more than what we even just went for right there. So I'm willing to run the ball here as well. I kind of want to run wham, but I know they got some pretty decent D-tackles, so I kind of want to run power, some type of power anyway. Kind of want to run halfback power G with a, with a wide receiver instead of three tight ends. See what we can get here. Third and four. Hand off. Just nobody's going towards Hamilton. Wesco or fucking Sailor, pick somebody. Go after them. Fourth and two. I'm I'm willing to go for it. I just don't know if we can probably pick this up. They're stacking the box pretty heavy. Don't know if I love PA cross. We're gonna do it. We're gonna let Aquanquo slip into the flat, see what he can get. Actually, let's keep Aquanquo in. Let's run Wiley on this drag. Let's go for it. Burks open. Catch run. Up the sideline, kind of stumbles a little bit, down to the 15. What a fucking play call. They send the house, basically. We send a play action, get just enough of a block, and boom, Burks wide open. Going to go with a play action rollout here again. DeGuire should come open late. Okay, that works too, I guess, DeGuara. Guara and Spears in the middle, both in the same spot. Oh, he, DeGuara got tackled. The linebacker didn't know who was catching that football. DeGuara gets tackled. Spears scampers up the sideline for four. You know, five wide here. I need Phillips to come hard right now. Burks is supposed to be a trailing option. You guys shouldn't be crossing the field at the same time. Phillips underneath. Roquan can't make the tackle and Phillips into the end zone, but we do lose Andre Dillard. So at what cost right there? Going up 28 to 19.
Ravens down 11 here late. First and 10 here for the Ravens. They'll take over at their own 19. They got to stop returning those footballs. We are doing pretty well in the coverage unit. Jair can't make the play. Finally does after Amani Hooker slows down Lamar. Six rushes, 10 yards. That's, what's, that's what it is all about. Just slowing down Lamar, I think, is the big key here. Now, of course, they've come back as of recent. But with the offense rolling our way, does that help with momentum just enough? Kevin Byard, one-on-one. -on -one. Dobbins can't make the play. Dobbins in the open field, and he's gone. He is gone, unfortunately. First and 10. Didn't expect the Ravens to score that fast. 28-26. Handoff Spears. Stretch play outside. Wesco still in front. Picks up a block. Spears down the sideline. Pushed out by Rocky Sin. Start of the fourth quarter. First and 10 at our own 47. Three yards until we're in Baltimore Ravens territory. Handoff left side. Williams makes a bad read. Roquan Smith there to help out. Jalen Duncan is now down. Who the fuck comes in at left then? Second and one now. We did decide to go with Verdun's in at left guard. Skaronski out to left tackle. That will have to work for now. Hopefully we can get Dillard back or Duncan back at some point. Second and one. Halfback stretch to the right side. Making Roquan miss. Roquan, you suck, pussy. That's why you're no longer on the Bears. I'm just kidding. I love you still. First and 10 now here. Clock ticking. We are going in to chew clock a little bit. Quanquo replaced the blitzer with the pass. Underneath picks up the first 15 for 19, 237 and two touchdowns. That's what it's all about. See, I, I'm telling you, I, I'm just going to, it doesn't make a difference because I didn't move Duncan down the depth chart to replace him with Skaronski. You know what? That works, Quanquo. Go back opposite side. See if that helps. D-Hop, if I can get over there and just throw the ball. No. I was trying to get over there so bad. I felt like if I threw that from the pocket with the way the corner was set up, I feel like it could have easily been a jumped pick. So I was just trying to get out there just enough to try to like kind of lob it towards the sideline a little bit more and not give the corner an equal opportunity. Second and 10 now. Wheel route with Spears. But nothing is open. I had Phillips late there, but Trent Simpson, he's so fucking fast. If you don't know, he has like 90 speed as a middle linebacker. I think I have him up to like 94 speed in my Broncos franchise, so he's fast as fuck. Third and 24, just pick up enough to get into field goal range is the most important part here. And just sacked again. Dylan Radunes just fucks us. Was that Radunes or was that Skaronsky there? One of those two got fucked. Fucking laid out, though, basically. Yeah, it was Radun. Radun still had... Skaronski still had his block. That sucks. Takes us out of field goal range. We do have to punt the football away. It's too long to go for. Baltimore will take over at their own 20. I just didn't quite angle it enough to go out of bounds. First and 10. Momentum fully on their side. Hand off Dobbins. And Bayard's going to have to come up and make the stop there. I need somebody to make a play here. 12 for 156. He is rushing for over 15 yards a carry, I feel like. I didn't do the math off the top of my head, but that's what it feels like at this point. Just not been able to stop him. He gets the ball here in the flat. Only time we've been able to stop him today. Second and nine now. Takeaways on the season. We had the fourth most takeaways. That was one of the only bright spots of this defense. And so far today, nothing. They haven't had any takeaways either, but... Man, when that's one of the big things about your defense and it doesn't show up. Mark Andrews here over the middle. Right middle, I guess, is what you'd call that more than anything. 17 for 19, 203. Like I said, when that's one of your big parts of your defense and that's something you have to rely on. When that doesn't show up, you're going to struggle a little bit more. I'm going to send Buddy Johnson immediately on top of this guard. It's a handoff to Flowers. He doesn't see anything. Everything gets stretched out. He tries to go back up the middle. Nobody there. Monty Rice is there, though. No hole there. I don't love Arden Key, and we're going to drop in a zone here. I don't love Key and Harold Landry being put into man-to-man -man coverage on a tight end and a running back. 
Third and two now after an eight-yard completion to, no, a seven-yard completion to Mark Andrews. He's about to eclipse 100 yards on the day as well. Jesus, we, it, it's not going our way. It's just not going our way at all. Dobbins there again, pushes off Amani Hooker, 13 for 163 now. They are just marching, and there's nothing this defense can do right now. And now Jeffrey Simmons is off the field, probably due to fatigue. Cover Odell underneath. Mark Andrews is in the flat by himself. Man coverage, we just don't have the player playmakers. And zone coverage, we just don't have the playmakers either. Mark Andrews is now down, but that brings in probably a better res true receiving threat in Isaiah Likely. So, you know, is it worth it? There, Odell gets the catch. Roger McCreary was coming off to try to, you know, cover that running back out of the back backfield, and Molden's just late to get there. First and ten, three minutes clicking. They are, they are moving fast too, but they are also taking their time. I know that doesn't make a hundred percent. Kevin Zeitler's now down. Gus Edwards tackled for a loss. If they want to keep Gus Edwards in, I'm totally fine with that. I think so far today. We've had more success stopping him than we have anybody else. Him and Lamar running, I think, are the only two guys that we've stopped. Granted, I think those it's only three guys that they really ran the football with. 14 for 174 for J.K. Dobbins. If we can get a stop here, it would still go up one, but it would at least give us a chance. It would at least give us a chance. Here, Tart, I get stuck on. Joseph Asai, technically, Lamar just like rolled into his arm, but fourth and one, they're going to take their points, settle for one. We do have time to still run the football. We still got three timeouts. It's just they do have full momentum, so they're going to be able to come off blocks. They're going to have an opportunity to really just shut our offense down for one last time. And, I, and I'm pretty sure we played them pretty close in London as well, so it wasn't like it was a blowout and we were expecting to come in here and be the better team. And just because they won their division or, or you know, whatever, or since they're at home, uh, that they were just going to come out and beat us. So they played us pretty closely in London. Out to the 20 for Marquez Stevenson. Got to throw the ball a couple times here. We're going to start them off with a pass, and then we'll head back to running. First and 10 here. Quanqua underneath. It's man. Hit Hopkins over the middle. Get up. Get out of bounds. Hopefully that does stop the clock finally. He was going up the field, so it should stop the clock. It does stop the clock this time. First and ten. Don't know how they still have full momentum. I would say say they don't have quite full momentum. Will Levis is going to have to scramble. Go. Don't fumble, though. Please, for the love of God, don't fumble. Get up and go. We're not celebrating. We're not doing any of that shit. Get up and go. Going to want run this wheel drive here. Snap the football. I'm okay with just any type of completion here. Oh, Traylon Burks. Wide open. No! Sack! Fuck. Well, that's my fault. Um, second and 18 now. We got to pick up yards here. Pick up at minimum of six yards and we'll be in okay spot to continuously go for it. Burks, one-on-one. -on -one. Humphrey just overthrown. Nicholas Petit Fier is now down, which would lead to Jack Driscoll coming in. Jeez, they have Robert Quinn on this team. Jesus Christ. Third and 18. Got to pick up at least nine. Make it manageable. Burks breaking outside. Can't hold on to the football, and it all comes down to basically this. Fourth and 18. No, Jalen Duncan will come in at that right tackle position, and we just don't have the O-line for this right now. We really, really don't. And since we don't have momentum, Spears is having a hard time hearing the dude that's staying two feet away from him. Looking Hopkins, back to Okwankwo to Spears. We're not going to have a whole ton of time here. Of course, these wheel routes on this right side could get open as well, but don't trust those receivers as much, especially with Humphrey being over there. Snap the football. Got to throw it up. Throwing it up to Burks. Humphrey's bumping him the whole way. You have to throw that fucking flag. You have to throw that flag. He's bumping him the whole way, slowing him down. Man, what a fucking game to end on. Just... Sack forces us back. We have to try to pick up yards. J.K. Dobbins is going to fuck my mouth. 
Gotta call a timeout here. That's how our season's ending. The defense not being able to stop a run game and Will Levis just struggling in the end. Comes down to Will Levis and he does not get it done. So, there's that. Gonna put Joseph Asai in a spy just in case Lamar does run and he gets the completion to Odell. Who, who else? Lamar, 22 for 25. They will move on. Um, we can stop the clock once. It's not really worth anything, though. Just honestly, what if we, what if we do this? What if we do this? Call me crazy. Call me. Fuck. That's not what I meant to do. No, no, no. Fuck. Jump off sides. Somebody jump off sides. Go run off sides. Run off sides. Run off sides. Thank you. They should accept this flag. They should accept it. This is a little cheesy. Hear me out. We're going to let them score. We're going to let them score. They'll be up eight. At least we'll have the ball. At least we will settle our own destiny here. Okay? So, go into special teams. Go into field goal block. No, they're just going to kneel it out. Fuck me. Well, I, I was going to try, but uh, they're not going to do it. So, <laughs> I, I didn't even think about it until the last second, and then they ran the play. I didn't have the timeout. That sucks. Um, I was going to try to let them score. They're going to be up eight. At least have 30 seconds left. Go for the chance of winning the ball game. So this is how our season ends, of course. Um, defense not really coming up clutch. The offense struggling late in games. Uh, I think one of the biggest factors going into the next season is going to be the O-line. Is how well can we build that O-line in one off season will be probably a big thing. Um, Pass catchers is another story, of course. I think we have some guys they just need to develop, stay healthy, stay on the field. I think we have our running back. I'm not 100% sold on Will Levis or Malik Willis going into the next season either. So that is a problem, but I am. I th I think they're comf I think I'm comfortable enough with them going into next season. We can always look at quarterback going into the third season. But the defense is going to need a complete and total overhaul, and especially if we're losing Rice, Byard, and Tier Tart. I think those will be three big names that, if we do end up saying that they can stay on their on the teams in real life, I'm probably gonna let Tart walk. I'm probably gonna let Rice walk. I haven't d fully decided on Bayard yet, just because of the value that they didn't get for him is one of the main things. Um, great. So the stats weren't recorded from this game. Um, I'm just gonna force a loss for us. Call it a day. We are restarting the franchise anyway. I think I've fully decided on that. Let's just get back to the main menu and talk some stuff out. Um, well, I can talk to you guys while it's loading. Uh, so, yeah. The stats thing get recorded, as you guys may have seen there at the end. Um, the gameplay is going to get recorded, though. I'm going to continue to uh, just well, end, it, end that little franchise there. I'll record some stuff for... Going into the off season, I'll get you know records recorded and all that fun stuff. Uh, you guys, if the if my Wi-Fi ever fucking figures itself out, I don't know when these videos are actually going to go up. To be fair, both these last Titans videos that I've done, uh, mainly because my Wi-Fi has been shit, and I've tried to contact my media, uh, my internet provider. They don't know what's going on. Um, I'm supposed to be going to the store later and pick up a new coax cable, pick up a new Ethernet cable, pick up a, a shit ton of stuff that I shouldn't have to pick up to see if any of that fixes it. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be fucked either way. Uh, I do have some other stuff coming. Uh, hopefully this video doesn't spoil it, if you guys can see it. Um, so, uh, yeah, just final thoughts on the season, I guess. Yeah, that sucked. That sucked. Ending that way kind of really does suck. Um, unfortunate, to say the least. But it should be fun. Hopefully I can start recording more. I really want to record more. I'm having a fun time with this Titans franchise for the most part. Uh, sliders will be getting changed a lot next year just with how running the football is in this franchise right now as well as just uh, the AI in general. Hopefully I can change enough to make it a more fun game. There were some pretty ridiculous scores. Granted, I... I still haven't figured out how to make it to where teams aren't just scoring willy-nilly. Um, I, I struggle with that. In my Broncos franchise, I've struggled with that on all my franchises I've played this year. 
So, unfortunately, that will still probably be a problem that consists. Will Levis, though, uh, I don't think he completely disappointed in the playoff game. He did disappoint in those last three weeks, just how many turnovers he, he had and stuff. Like I said, the O-line is still a major issue. The ev- defense in general is a huge issue. It's gonna be a fun. It's gonna be a fun off season. Uh, we will have the picks still from the Derrick Henry trade and the Ryan Tannehill trade and all the other trades that I did make for the most part. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping to record, like I said, a lot more here in the future. But with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoy this video or any of the videos here on my channel, I'd appreciate it if you guys do stick around and subscribe. But with that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.